First of all, um, <coughs> if I said to you, guess who I saw today, what would you say? John Burns. No, definitely not. <laughs> Anybody? I don't know who. Exactly. So why did you say that? <laughs> I don't know who it was. He wants you to guess. But I want you to guess. Guess who it was. <laughs> John Burns. How, how, many, how many of you said that to somebody? Admit it. How many of you lot have said, guess who I saw today? There you go, one. One honest person, two, three, four, five. That's better. And wh why do we say it? Because we never give people a chance to guess. So I'll say, guess who I saw today? And you're going to say... But if I stand here and let you guess, you're never going to get it. You're going to have to go through everybody that, that I know. Or you're going to have to go through all the phone directories to find that out. I keep going through the names. It could take years, couldn't it? So why do we say things like that? And that's part of what this book's about, is the, the use of everyday language. Um, Steve, you've got one. I have. Can I just move this? Yes, you can move your prompt. Because you're stepping across my nose. I do apologise. That's all right. Um, one of the things that annoys me um, is when someone... Well, I'll set the scene first. Let's, let's imagine there's been a... Uh, a huge crash outside your house, it wakes you up, startles you, you sit bolt upright and you dash to the window, you look outside and someone's banged into your car, everyone's alright, but they've crashed into your car. And you think, oh no, I wouldn't mind, but I only washed it yesterday. <laughs> and it's a common, the scenario might not be common, but the situation where you say, I wouldn't mind, but, is very common. And of course you'd mind. If you dash to the window and say, oh no, someone's crashed in my car, thank goodness I washed it two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> but you wouldn't mind, you wouldn't have minded, but you'd only just washed it. What a waste of water. <laughs> the, when, we, when we ordered these books uh, for today, we had to order extra ones just in case these guys sold out, which they did, which was great. Um, but when we ordered them, I, I gave a call to them uh, a, few, a few hours uh, after ordering to make sure they'd got the order um, and that they'd arrive in time. And the man said to me, he said, you know, there's nothing worse than going to a book signing and not having your books, is there? And I thought to myself, well, I'm sure there's plenty of things worse, <laughs> really. You know, there's people in, in a tsunami, there's people in Ethiopia dying of famine, there's people all over the world suffering. My book's not getting to the signing is probably not the worst thing that could happen. Do you agree? Yeah. Am I right? When you told me, you, you said to me, um, or maybe one of us said to the other, I can't remember, one of us said, well, it's okay for these people with dying of famine and whatever, but they've not ordered 200 books. There's apparently nothing worse. <laughs> than somebody who's ordered these books. Um, yeah, we're also interested in what people don't say and the fact that they announce what they wouldn't say. So, for example, um, Vicky, if I can pick on Vicky, one of your friends, I'm, I'm told... Not one of these two. We talk, oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about such things. Um, I think you found it funny too. One of your friends came round and you said, you want a cup of tea? And she said, oh, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> I thought it was a funny announcement to me. You wouldn't say elephant either. There's plenty of things you wouldn't say. Why well, go through the list? You could be there for years of things you wouldn't say. What about the one thing you would say? Would you say yes or no? Would you say, oh, maybe I'll think about it? But no. Let's come up with something that you wouldn't say. I'm going to pick on parents now, if I may. There's a few things. May I? May I? Who's a parent? Someone with a child. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Well, there's things that parents say, and I don't know whether they still say it now, but I remember when I was a lad. My dad's now going to get embarrassed for the second time. But he, he would say things like, if I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times, when he hadn't told me a thousand times. How many parents have said that? <laughs> if he's told me once, he's told me once. Then he might say, do you want a good idea? And I'd be like, uh, no thanks, I'll pass that. <laughs> or, or he'd say, do you want to see the back of my hand? Yeah, very nice. <laughs> yeah, and, and the other thing is when, when women and men, when, when a baby is born, they have a different saying. So a man might say, say, Rich, sorry to pick on you, Rich, but Rich says to me, what did you have? And I said, I had a boy, or I had a girl, and that's what I would say. But if he asked it to a woman, and I'm sorry, women, but they would say, I had a little baby boy, or I had a little baby girl. We already know it's little. We already know it's a baby. You're not going to say we've had a humongously large 18-year-old elephant. Is that, is that the thing? Um, so wh why we say those things, I don't know. Uh, Steve is going to now talk about food. Yes, we have a, a little food group now, from parents onto food, two things. Um, why do people say tuna fish? 
Actually, how many say tuna fish? How many say tuna fish? Admit it. Come on. Admit we, it. We don't believe you. Hands up, please. Thank Who you. says tuna fish? Come on, that's it. <laughs> but why? Do you, do you go to a chip shop for your salt, for your salt vinegar and say, um, uh, codfish and chips, please. Codfish and potato chips. Potato chips is another one, but we'll not do that today. Um, why tuna fish? Why not tuna, I don't know. We know it's a fish. We know it's not tuna camel. We know it's... <laughs> We know it's lots of things. We know it's not. We know it's not salmon fish. No one says paddock fish, salmon fish. But for some reason, it's tuna fish. The other one is spare ribs. I, I went to a restaurant a few days ago and ordered spare ribs as a starter. Um, I just asked for ribs actually. The waitress said, "Oh, spare ribs." I thought, "Okay, then if you want to call them spare, but what else were you going to do with them? You bought them in as ribs. You call them spare ribs. What were you going to do with them before I came along?" <laughs> Calm down, we're not going to pass the watershed, okay? Yes, what is the watershed? I don't know, I've, it was on the radio, they were talking about the watershed, and I, I wondered to myself, what is the watershed and what relevance does it have to nine o'clock? And if you put a water, if you put water in your shed, it'd fall out, wouldn't it? Unless you've got a really good solid shed, but, you know, what, what reference does water shed have with nine o'clock at night and why you're only allowed to swear after the watershed? The watershed what? <laughs> water. So, anyway, and the next one, Holidays, holidays, Steve. Yeah. When you when you go away on holiday, you come back and someone says, "Oh, I've not seen you for a, for a couple of weeks. Have you been all right?" And they say, "Yes, I've been on a holiday." And they say, "Oh, anywhere nice?" And you think, "No, I was sent off for the nightmare holidays in war zones brochure, and I, I picked a week. I picked two weeks in Tripoli, opposite a mortuary on a building site. Of course, I went somewhere." <laughs> you say, "Oh, absolutely. Actually, it was oh, it was awful. It was terrible. One of the worst holidays we've had. We've already booked for next year." <laughs> right, prop time. Props. Final one. Can anybody tell me what's wrong with this? Do you know what it is? is it, who, what is it? Is it? Slipper? What's wrong with it? Move back to it. There's only one. Well, I, I have got another one. Uh, the, the thing that is wrong with it is there is no back. You buy slippers for what reason? To keep your feet warm. Warm. So, if you put that on, you're only keeping half your foot warm. Am I right? You are. Yeah? Your back of your foot's not warm. So for me, that's similar to putting the heating on in your house in the winter and sticking your arse out the front door. <laughs> <laughs> Is it any different? So what's the point in them? It's pointless. I don't know. It's backless. It's not pointless. It's backless. It's backless. Yeah, you're right. Um, anyway. I don't, I don't know how many people have seen the book, but if you if you have, uh, I, don't, I don't know whether you've got any questions about the book or influences or anything like that, um, but we're open to any questions. If anybody's got anything to ask us at all, anybody? No, 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 no. Are you going to do another one? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Half of our ideas for the next book, because we'd already started on it, uh, the publisher stole for that book. They said, well, this is great, but can we have more? So. <laughs> So there is a join, you won't know where it is, only we know, but there's a join in there that you won't spot, where the new book, where the new book would have started. And it's even halfway through one of the chapters. So uh, so we've already, the, although they've nicked half the ideas, we've sort of got them back with new ideas since. Um, we've, we've always been writing, even when we've been apart. Yeah. When they disappeared and, and came back. And um, we've uh, physically disappeared. He uh, did for me. Um, Magician. And then we came, yeah, and then we came back. Um, but we're always writing. We've still we've got ideas similar, to, some of the same, some of the same as those ideas, which we'll develop and make sure they're exactly the same. Some are completely different, but always they're, they're based on language. Anybody else? Anything? No. <laughs> and the book is launched. <laughs> God bless you and all. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, everybody, for, for coming along. Yeah, I know I know it's been short, and that some of you come from a, well, he's come from a long way. Um, yes, but thank you very much for coming, and uh, we'll we'll see you soon. And hopefully, if you want to book, they're available, and we'll sign them for you. Thank you very much. Thank you.